Hi friends, now the reason why I am taking up this topic in this video is because of two incidents that happened with my friends. So one of my friends was holding Yes Bank and in around 2018 we all know that Yes Bank started crashing. So my friend started averaging out Yes Bank and in the process he kept on losing money. My another friend very diligently with all the efforts very meticulously crafted a portfolio of stocks. He invested his money in the stocks around five years back. Now five years down the line my index ETF fund has performed better than his meticulously crafted portfolio. Now these two outcomes could have been entirely different if my friends had known about a very simple tool, relative strength. So now what relative strength actually does is it compares the percentage price move of one security vis-a-vis -vis the other security. Now if you want to compare whether ABC performed better or worse than XYZ, you put ABC in numerator and put XYZ in denominator. Come let's see this on the charts. Okay, so here I have Nifty 50 weekly chart on my screen. I go over here on indicators and I type in relative strength. Now I want to tell you guys that relative strength is not a default indicator in the trading view platform which I generally use. So I use this custom indicator. In case you guys are having any difficulty in plotting the relative strength on your charts, please type in in the comment sections given below. So we see over here relative strength has been plotted on the chart and if we click this settings button, we see this SNP written over here. So this, this value is the denominator. So what do we use in the denominator? Well, I generally use Nifty 50 because I like to compare the outperforming securities with respect to Nifty 50. So I type in here Nifty 50. So as you can see, this line is straight. So obviously when you compare Nifty 50 with Nifty 50, the line is going to be straight. Let me choose some other security. So let us choose Bank Nifty. Let us see whether Bank Nifty has performed better or worse vis-a-vis -vis Nifty over here. So we have Bank Nifty over here on the screen. Now you see this blue line. Let us see how we can interpret this blue line which is the relative strength. Now let me explain it to you how to interpret this relative strength. If this line is moving up, that means the security on your screen is performing better than Nifty 50. Nifty 50 remember is our denominator. All right. If the line is moving down, then the security is performing worse then nifty 50. Now, as you can see on the screen, this line, the relative strength line is moving up. That means bank nifty is performing better than nifty 50. Now before I move forward, I would like to underline one point. Don't use this on intraday time frames. Please use this on daily, weekly or monthly time frames only then this relative strength tool will have some significance. Now in order to keep things very simple, I have devised a simple technique to interpret the relative strength. Let me show it to you. There is a zero line on the relative strength indicator. Whenever the relative strength line is above the zero line, that means that security is performing better than Nifty 50 or whichever is the underlying stock or security you are comparing it against. And whenever the relative strength line is below the zero line, I consider the security to be performing worse than Nifty 50 or any other security which you are comparing it against. All right. You can keep the denominator as Bank Nifty or you can keep it as DJI, Dow Jones Index, NASDAQ or any stock. All right. It doesn't matter at all. 
So now let's go back again on the charts and check out. Over here, this is Nifty Bank weekly chart. You can see that this relative strength line is above this zero line. Pause your videos for two seconds and tell me whether Bank Nifty is performing better than Nifty or not. Crystal clear. Bank Nifty is performing better than Nifty because here the relative strength line is above the zero line. So friends, let's now do a very interesting exercise. Let us check out the world indices and various sectors and let us see whether they are performing better or worse in comparison to our domestic Nifty 50 index. So this is DJI Dow Jones index and you can clearly see that this relative strength line is below the zero line. So that means that DJI is performing worse than Nifty 50. This is Nasdaq. In Nasdaq, the relative strength line is falling down and is clearly below the zero line. That means Nasdaq also is performing worse than Nifty 50. Now the FTSE was performing better than Nifty 50 in September, August months, but now it has started to underperform Nifty 50. So very interesting guys, isn't it? A simple tool can tell you so much. Let us check out now some of the domestic sectors. Let us check out CNX IT, the IT sector. All right, so the IT sector is in front of you. Now again, I would request you to pause the video for two seconds and tell yourself whether the IT sector is underperforming Nifty or outperforming Nifty. Now here, we can clearly see that the relative strength line is below the zero line, it's going down. So IT sector is underperforming Nifty 50. The auto sector broke out its all time high over here. And as you can clearly see, the relative strength line is above the zero line. So auto sector is outperforming Nifty 50 and it can be an interesting sector to look out. If you see pharma sector, what do you say? The pharma sector is underperforming Nifty 50 as the relative strength line is below the zero line. Let us check out another sector, metal sector. So as you can clearly see the metal sector the relative strength line has come above the zero line over here nicely and is above the zero line at present. That means it is outperforming the Nifty 50. And you see the breakout over here. So very interesting sector. So just one look and you will get so much information. You can conclude whether the particular security is outperforming other security or not. Here we are comparing sectors with Nifty 50. Now the relative strength indicator or tool has some wonderful applications in investing as well as some positional trading. What we need to do is we need to use it in conjunction with EMA 50 for some extra confirmation. Okay, let's see this on the charts. This is a chart of Bajaj Finance. All right, now I'll go to the indicators and type in EMA and I'll choose the period as 50. So we have EMA 50 also plotted on the screen along with our relative strength at the bottom. Now in order to take position in any security, what we need? We need two things. One, that the security should be trading above the EMA 50. And the second thing is that the relative strength line should be above the zero line. So you see over here on the Bajaj Finance script, this is the weekly chart. It came above the EMA 50 line over here, the price, it closed above EMA 50 line over here. And at the same time, you see the relative strength line was above the zero line. So what do we do? We take positions in Bajaj Finance. Once you have taken positions in Bajaj Finance, you continue to hold it until one of your two conditions becomes unsatisfied. Over here, you see that relative strength line was still above the zero line, although it had started coming down, but it had not gone below zero line. 
but this closing price of Bajaj Finance is below the EMA 50, so we exit Bajaj Finance. Again, we can take re-entry over here as the closing price of this candle is above the EMA 50. You can hold it and again get out over here. All right. You can take your position again over here and stay in the trade for some more time. So like all the tools, this tool also has some drawbacks. This can give you some multiple entries and exits and in the end you can lose out on some money but this will help you in two things, in catching long trends and B, in not entering securities which are not performing better than Nifty 50 or any underlying index which you want to compare it against. Now let's take another example of IRCTC. The IP of IRCTC had come in around 2020. Let's look at its weekly chart. So if you were to take positions in IRCTC, you could have entered IRCTC over here when IRCTC was trading above EMA 50 and the RS line was also above the zero line. You could have exited your positions over here when the RS line went below the zero line and again taken your positions over here. Over here, as you can see, the price close below EMA 50, you should have exited over here and now the entry has still not come. Why? Because the price is yes trading above the EMA 50 line, but the relative strength line is still below the zero line. Let us take an interesting example of Yes Bank. So this is Yes Bank weekly chart and we all know Yes Bank had been performing very well till 2018. But over here in middle of 2018, Yes Bank closed below this EMA 50. At the same time, the RS line was also below the zero line. So this is where you should have exited your positions in Yes Bank. After that, Yes Bank tried to come above EMA 50, closed above EMA 50. But you see over here that the RS line is still below the zero line. So we will not take positions in Yes Bank over here. And Yes Bank for all these years and months has stayed below the EMA 50. Now, just recently, very interesting thing happened in Yes Bank, where in July of this year, it closed above the EMA 50 on the weekly chart and the RS line also popped above the zero line. So what do you think guys? Is it right to take positions in Yes Bank now? Type in in the comment sections and let us have a discussion on it. So as you have seen, relative strength is a very simple tool to compare one security with other or to compare whether a security is performing better or worse in comparison to an index to help you take better decisions in your investing as well as positional trading. So if you really like this video and this video was of some help to you, please let us know in the comment section and don't forget to like, subscribe our channel and share it with as many people as you can.